As a user of SuperOffice Service, the launch of the new contact card in SuperOffice CRM 8.3 is especially interesting for you. The contact card is designed to help you align how contacts are handled, whether you work in standard SuperOffice CRM or in SuperOffice Service. We've also added extra features to help you improve your system's data quality and to help you handle additional GDPR requirements, such as an individual's right to view and delete their data. Let's first take a look at the contact card. Traditionally, you've had a separate contact card in SuperOffice Service so that you can respond to individual requests. To focus more on the individual, there is now a separate contact card in the standard version as well. Regardless of which solution you're in, you will basically have the same view of a particular contact because of the additional fields that we've added to both standard and service. It's important to note that if you want to find information about what legal basis and consents a person has given, as well as their e-marketing subscriptions, you will need to access this information from standard SuperOffice. For users of SuperOffice service, it has always been possible to create contacts that are not linked to a company. You may have noticed, for example, that every time you get an incoming request from an unknown email address, the SuperOffice service automatically creates a new contact. Because of the new addition of the contact card, all contacts which are automatically added in service are now searchable in standard SuperOffice. With this change, you are able to prevent unwanted duplicates because you can check whether contacts already exist in your CRM database before you add them. It is now possible to turn off the feature in SuperOffice Service that creates a new contact every time a request comes in from an unknown email. As a result, you will have requests which are not connected to a contact. Let's see how that would work. The request will arrive in your queue, just like you are used to at the moment. If the request is sent from an unknown email address, the system will notify you by showing this red ribbon inside the request. When you click the red ribbon, you can search your database to see if the person who sent you the request is already saved or not. You can either pick from the possible duplicates that are already in the system, or you can use the search field to find the right contact. If the contact is already present in your CRM solution, you can just connect the two. If the person isn't in the system, you can create the new contact directly from here. This process allows you to reduce unwanted duplicate contacts and means that you will have even greater control over the contacts that are added to your CRM solution. This was just a short introduction to the new features available in SuperOffice CRM 8.3. To learn more, please visit the SuperOffice community.